Right here's the Cobra 29 uh, just stock how it is now we haven't done any mods to it or anything and I'll show you what it's doing on the power meter over here um, we're gonna be watching this one on the left here and then I'll also show you on the analyzer what it's reading which will be this here uh, key it up here I don't know how well you'd be able to read the scale but uh, just under five watts audio Audio. Set to about seven, seven or eight average. Uh, and then we'll switch over to uh, peak power and see what you're doing for peak. Audio. Audio. Right up around 25 watts right now. So we'll uh, get it all cranked up and get the MOSFET put in there and make another video when it's all done so you can see how it turned out. Hey Ryan, uh, something else I just wanted to show you here real quick with the radio that I noticed. Uh, I should have put it in the first video and didn't think of it. But uh, I'm guessing somebody may have already been in this thing and either cut the limiter or just cranked a modulation pot all the way up. Um, what's going on here? If you watch the modulation, that's the top right number we're going to be looking at. Audio! See how it's way above 100 percent. It's up around 160, 170 there. Um, if we look at it on the scope, audio. See how that signal's all flat topped off like that? That's uh, distortion. And what that'll do is that'll cause interference on the other channels. All that extra power. When the, when you watch the meter on here, audio. It looks like it's got a big swing. That's actually just getting wasted. So if you Look at here uh, in the middle there, that's channel 19. And now when I talk, audio, audio. All those little spikes to the side of that, that's caused by that flat topping and distortion. Um, if this is set right, with the limiter still intact and the modulation adjusted how it should be, that signal will look a lot cleaner. And, and, uh, the power wouldn't be as high as it looks on the uh, on the meter. Just one second to set this down. All right. So what I've done now is I got the uh, a test connector plugged in here, so I can inject a signal into it and show you what it's doing here. This is what we used to set the modulation properly. So as you can hear now, there's a tone going into it, coming from the analyzer over here. Turn it off so it's not loud. So you can see all that garbage off to the side. That's all distortion and interference. These are all all your other CB channels over here that it's interfering with, and that's where that extra power that looks impressive is actually going to. It also looks flat top down there. That's distortion. Uh, if it was set the way it should be, so that this is. No, yeah, see, the mic gain doesn't even adjust it enough to get it to where it's rounded. Uh, let's see, I can probably do it on here. Just turn the level down a little bit. All right, there, now you can see, that's how it should look. You don't want it flat like that. You want it nice and rounded looking. Let's see if I can stabilize that. Right there is about how the signal should look, but that's a nice clean signal. And then if we come over here and look at it again, you can see it doesn't have all those spikes off to the side. So, we'll get it set right, and uh, we'll show you what it's doing when we're back. Alright, we're back with the Cobra 29 here. Got the new MOSFET put in for you back there. That's this guy right here. Got the MOSFET put in. Then over here also added a uh, bigger protection diode and filter capacitor to help with some filtering a little bit. And also don't have to worry about in case it ever gets hooked up backwards, it'll uh, blow the fuse right in the wire instead of damaging the stuff in the radio at all. I'll show you what it's doing on the meter here now. And uh, also notice this will be clean power now. Last time there was all that distortion and stuff. So we'll show you both uh, the uh, spectrum analyzer and the 
power reading here. Uh, get another meter here again first. Audio. Audio. So about five to swing up to eight on the average side there, but now on the peak power. Audio. Audio. Check. One, two. Hello. So right around 35 watts or so. And uh, let's see, we'll give you this view here. Audio. One, two. Hello. A nice clean signal now, so all that extra power is actually going to some good use. And you should be pretty happy with the way this turned out, I think. Alright, thanks. Okay, we're back. There's one thing I just found that I want to show you before I do anything. Uh, whoever was in here before must have really messed up the receive portion or something. Right now I got the signal generator here. Set for 100 microvolts. Uh, right there, you can see it. And uh, usually 100 microvolts will give you an S9 reading on the meter. And as you can see on here, it's only uh, at an S1. Um, not only that, but the sensitivity is, is horrible. I'll turn this up so you can hear. So that's the test tone going. I should be able to turn this down to uh, 1 microvolt, and you still be hearing that. You see I'm already about 4 microvolts, you can barely even hear anything. You get down to 1, it's pretty much non-existent. So Something's all out of whack on the receiver, that's going to need an alignment on the receiver section. Okay, we're back. I got the receiver all tuned up now, uh, operating how it should be. See here we're only at uh, 1 microvolt. It's already picking it up. Actually, we can do a little better than that yet. I'm about a 0.5 or so. 0.4. And uh, before, the last video, if you remember, this was up at 4 microvolts before it was even really picking it up too well. I'll show you for comparison now if we put it at the 4. And you actually even got signal on the meter already. Uh, if we set it to uh, 100 microvolts here, 100 microvolts, that should be an S9 on the meter, and it is, so everything's working good on it now, receiver's all tuned up, transmitter's done.